Hello and welcome back. Okay, let's be honest. The video you're about to see was filmed last year, but it wasn't the correct time to release it yet because the gap tool video was not ready. In a previous video, I explained how the battery and the voltage affect the modules and sensors. We felt that it is better to wait for releasing this video for things to make sense to you. So previously, we have discussed how important it is to have the gap tool. It would be one of the first things that you have to buy when getting your Land Rover. What we are about to see would be the second step to take when getting your Land Rover. Even if the previous owner told you that they had this job done. Once you complete both of these jobs, only then you can move on to other upgrades or at least uh, do the full service. You know, like replacing the oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, cabin filter. You can also replace the front wiper blade, the rear wiper blade, replace the tailgate cable. You know, all of these things that we did in the previous video. Once you do that, you can move on on the non-essentials like Bluetooth or screen upgrade like Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, whichever whichever you're using, uh, like I showed you in the previous video as well. But don't get too far with these upgrades yet because there are other essentials you must do before pouring loads of money into turning it into the best machine you will ever own. And so in the future videos, we'll be doing those essentials and we'll be talking about them. So you will need to subscribe to keep up with these videos because once we do those essentials, you will never be worried about owning a Land Rover because they are the best cars in the world. Or should I say the best car in the world? Or should I say the best cars in the world? Listen, I want you to be able to work on your car and that's why I'm doing these videos from even before you buy the car. And that's why I made the video about the MOT and how to file part numbers and the Land Rover literature. I'm just doing my best to help you guys here. We have a problem today. The Range Rover battery has been playing up. With the Range Rover, because there's a lot of electronics and technology inside, the battery needs to be in perfect condition. If it's less than 12 volts, it starts to flag some incorrect faults. With this in mind, we have decided that renew, uh, changing the battery, especially that we don't use the car much, we use it maybe once or twice a week, because it's not a daily drive. It's best to have a fresh battery, since we don't know the previous owner, how he was looking after the battery, etc. It's best to have a fresh battery, whether it's related to any of the problems or not, it's best to have a fresh battery all the time. The problems I'm having is once you leave the car for six, seven days that without turning on, turn it back on, it could show some fault. Turn it back off, turn it back on again, the faults go away. But that could do be due to basically the battery is not responding properly. So to do it, to replace, obviously, this is the current battery. Do you want to show them what we have at the moment? This is the current battery we have. And we are going to replace the battery with a genuine Land Rover battery. That's if you wanted to get the code and stuff mm -hmm. from it. That's how it looks like. Okay. So number one is taking it off. We need to remove this cable here, the black cable. Can you pick it up from your side? This ah, cable yes. here, we need to remove the black. Yeah. Now, if you wished to open this bonnet even further, you can do that if you want to. You have to open it and move this bit here. This bit can be moved oh, yeah. further and be locked, but I don't want to do that because it's going to get myself in more issue problems. Not my problems, I mean more work. Mm. But basically, you remove this. This uh, There's a clip here that you remove it, and it's the same thing on the other side. And then you'd open this bonnet all the way, so it's nice to say you have more space. Mm -hmm. That's how they do it when they service the engine, because they see the engine. You can do, just unclip this, and then clip it from the other side, and you can put it on the stand. But mm -hmm. I don't want to go through the trouble, it's only just a battery. It is, however, a very heavy battery. Mm. Like this one, the new one, is... Yeah, how many kilograms did it say? Uh, let's see. Let's say somewhere, where did it say? Yeah, almost 25. Almost oh, 25. Wow. Almost 25. Yeah. That's about just under 50 pounds, mm. something like that. So, first, we need to disconnect the black wire. So, we are going to disconnect the black wire. Now, once you disconnect black wire, it means there's no electricity. That means everything that has been saved will be gone. In the system. In the systems, mm -hmm. such as clock, date, mileage, trip, computer, all of this will oh. be deleted mm -hmm. and will be reset. When you remove the black cables, just be careful. You don't want to get sparks, so you don't damage the computer. So, black cable first thing. Just try to lift up. And once it's up, that's perfect. So. That's the black cable. Yeah. Yeah. That's the black okay, cable that's out. Right. Uh -huh. That's the screw that I unscrewed. Yeah. Now it has some brackets. It has two brackets. There's one bracket here and there's one bracket here. Inter it's supposed to have two brackets. Okay. I'll show you. Yeah. There's one bracket here, yeah. but ours is a bit different mm -hmm. because the previous owner just put a screw. Can you see the screw here? Yes. Yeah. That screw needs removing. 
this is the original bucket and the way to remove it is we need to, there's a bolt so we're using the bolt yeah mm -hmm. so we, we just have to remove this one okay and once it's removed mm -hmm. there's a bracket here in my finger can you see that bracket yes. yeah yeah that will get loose and we need to remove it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see it lifting up. up. So is it magnetic? No, it's oh, like this. So in, in one part, yeah? yeah? This keeps it in place, yeah? Yep. It comes like this. Now, the second one is missing. We're supposed to have two of them. Mm -hmm. The second one is missing. We only have one today. Yeah. The other one, what the previous owner did, is basically put a, a normal bolt. Uh, you just put a washer and a bolt. Let me see if I can get it. I can't see, I'm going to have to feel for it yeah here you go i'll get it uh -huh. can you see it yes yeah I can, can you see it. the bolt yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. i'm gonna use my fingers so i don't lose the bolt yeah so that's coming off i can see there's two washers currently here that's what he used mm -hmm. let's have a look i don't know if it's the mechanic oh yeah okay mm -hmm. or the previous owner mm -hmm. that we used i mean it kind of worked do we need to buy another one of these they quoted me 20 something pounds for this one and mm -hmm. a few pounds for this one and like 25 pounds for everything yeah. Maybe, maybe we don't need this. This one, it worked. Yeah. It's just it's to keep the battery in the corner. In place, yeah. basically. Keep it in a place in the corner so it doesn't go. Mm -hmm. uh, and it works. So, okay. Let's see. I'm gonna put this on the side. What does that do? No, it just uh, covers the red here. This the red connection. So you have black uh, and so red. It, red well, in theory, it's plus and minus, just like uh, a battery. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that is the plus, and that's the minus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This yeah. is number ten. We've been using ten mil. Now I don't know if all the cars come the same or is it just specifically this one mm -hmm. but let's assume all the cars are the same so this is number 10 mm -hmm. what you need for the plus which is red is 13 yeah. okay uh, this is 13 so I'm gonna disconnect the red one wow that's oh. in tight huh oh I thought that came out but actually it moved the whole battery didn't yeah. it they put it in worried it's gonna run away <laughs> they thought the battery is going to run away or something all right here we go I'm gonna remove the red that's the red removed Okay, that's the black removed and red removed. Just make sure this cable does not touch this cable mm -hmm. and make sure this cable doesn't touch that one here and this one doesn't touch this one. Okay, so we need to completely remove them and they're not touching each other. Okay, it's very important for them not to touch each other. Otherwise, you could spark a, uh, you can do a shortage. So I'm going to put the black cable here away from everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see how far away it's from everything. Yeah. I want it there. So it's not touching anything, which is very important. The red cable can stay there. It's not a problem so as long as it's far from everything. This is heavy battery. So be careful when you lift. You're going to want to edge it to the side. Okay. And when you're ready, you're going to have to lift. Mm. Let's do it. Like so. And break everything on your way. <laughs> I shouldn't put a battery on the side. Wow, this is heavy. This is heavy. Now, let's see what, what have I damaged. Have I damaged anything? The rubber's still here. Actually, I did struggle taking it off and I don't know if you've seen. I tilt it. It's not good to tilt battery. <laughs> Just to note, by the way, this, I don't see. Does it say a AGM battery? In standard equipped. No, no try on the other side. Yeah, it doesn't say. say AGM battery. It doesn't say anywhere it's AGM battery. The battery I bought is AGM battery, which is a better battery. This is the old style. Right. But anyway. Oh, not suitable uh, for Not suitable for vehicle with us. Oh, okay. So that's, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, so to I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead because I struggled once with you I tilted the battery. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. That's what I was saying before. I'm going to remove this bracket, and when I do so, then uh, we can go on the other side. I'm gonna disconnect this, mm -hmm. then put this back down. I'm gonna this one as well. It worked. Yep. <laughs> it didn't break it. Yeah. <laughs> I remove this one. I'm going to keep this on the side. Okay. What I'm going to do is we're going to shut the camera for a little bit because I need Alex's help. And what we're going to do is it's going to lift it together. Up. Mm -hmm. One clip from here, and one clip from there, and we disconnect it and we fit one all the way back in. This one here. Yeah. So it doesn't go anywhere. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's actually 90 degrees to the camera. To yes. the car. Car. That's right. Full oh, access here, so I can do whatever I want. Directly. Yeah. Vertically. Now, Maybe can you show the ladies and gentlemen the, <laughs> the gentlemen? Yeah. Uh, the battery tray. Okay, ladies and gents, this is the battery okay. tray. Oh, wow, quite spacious. Yeah. See, this is plus and this is minus. Mm -hmm. This is plus and this is minus. Mm -hmm. 
the plus goes that way and the minus goes towards the out yeah the plus towards the in and both yeah. them on the inside you yes. just have to remember this yeah yeah so they are Let's... more or less the same yeah they are more or less the same and we should start putting it okay. ready yeah three two one i'd recommend removing the red cable out of your way oh yeah now you have full access can you Try see here. can the camera pick it up the how the red cable it was Is here it? Yeah. that's how it should be uh-huh yeah, but oh, what yeah. I did, I put this one back yeah. and move this one back yeah. and put this out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the black cable is also out of the way. Yeah, 25 kilos is a lot. Okay, slowly. Perfect. Fit it? Yes. Nice. Now, I'm going to push it all the way so I am able to install the wires. Let's see if the red cable reaches. Yeah, the red cable does reach. Yeah, put the red cable there. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what I did is I pushed the battery mm -hmm. all the way inside. Okay. Yeah, so the red cable is in yeah, there. And yeah, I put, and I put the red cable here. Now, and I pushed all this one all the way inside. Mm -hmm. So we need to tighten the knot on the red cable. Mm -hmm. And then the black cable. I'll leave the black cable the last thing to do. I'm going to put this one back. There. As such. And that will hold the battery. Can you see it? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Now that pushes the battery all the way in. Yeah. Oh, yeah it, right. it needs to be another one there, but they have custom made this one. That went in. Aha! Uh -huh. That's how they do it. And then try to tighten it. Yeah. I mean, it yeah. works. It's going to hold the, the battery in place. The battery in place. Yep. That's in. Nice and secured. Yep. And that's in. Huh? And now you have the black cable, right? Yes. Now okay. we have to do the black cable. I'm going to put the black table now. And just be careful not to get spark. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Us in. I didn't get spark. Great. Perfect. That's the good news. Yeah. So now I'm going to I'm going to tighten this one. Okay. Yeah. That's tight. That's good enough. And then I'm going to cover it with the cover comes with it a lot of people don't do that i don't understand why they don't do it that's covered now i'm gonna tighten this oh, one that's the cover yeah yeah i'm gonna tighten the black we've connected the battery we connected everything we closed the bonnet and now it's the test i can see the electricity going will it turn on the car perfect it worked two things left to do number one is uh, I'm just gonna let the car run for a little bit and while it's running I'm just gonna adjust the clock and what the stuff and reset remember I said about resetting So we're just gonna adjust that so as you can see we have a missing part of the video here when I said reset the car I meant that I have to go on the gap tool now and reset the ECU and let the car know I put a new battery in and set the voltage for the new battery. This is something that must be done for electronics to work correctly. Uh, the second thing is we're gonna go inside, have some food, and then we need to go out for a drive to yeah. make sure the battery uh, is working properly and everything else is working properly and the car is happy with the new battery and uh, of course, as owning a Range Rover, we need to go fill fuel. If you own a Range Rover, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You need to fill fuel every time you need to uh, turn on the engine. Yeah. I do definitely hope you learned something because you, we all uh, need to look after each other, who, you know, Range Rover owners. On to the next one. Uh, what's going on? Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go clean this. This is the behind. Mm -hmm. The radar sensor, yeah? <laughs> wow. Look at this! And here! Wow! wow. <laughs> that is sleet! 